Hello guys, what's up? This is Sir EJ and welcome to another math tutorial. In today's topic, we will be discussing how to solve for the geometric means of a geometric sequence. So before we compute for the value of the geometric means, let us define first what is a geometric means. So when we say geometric means, these are the terms between any two non-consecutive terms of a geometric sequence. So we have the formula in finding the geometric means. So we have a sub n is equal to a sub 1 r raised to n minus 1 power. So this is the formula for the geometric sequence. And then we're in a sub 1 is equal to the value of the first term, n is equal to the number of term, a sub n is equal to n term, and r is equal to the common ratio. So we have the steps in solving the geometric means. So the first step is to identify the number of terms in the geometric sequence. And then after that, you will use the formula of the geometric sequence to solve for the value of the common ratio. And the last step is to get the value of the missing term, multiply the common ratio and the value before the missing term. So let's have our first example. Insert four geometric means between 7 and 413,343. So the first step is to write 7 and 413,343. And then we will insert four blanks between those two numbers. And then after that, we will identify the given. So the value of a sub 1 or the first term is equal to 7. The value of a sub n is equal to the value of the last term, which is equal to 413,343. And the value of n, the number of terms, so we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So we have n is equal to 6. And then we will solve for the value of the common ratio using the formula of the geometric sequence a sub n is equal to a sub 1 times r raised to n minus 1 power. And then we will substitute the value. The value of the last term is 413,343 equals the value of the first term is equal to 7 times the common ratio raised to the value of n which is equal to 6 minus 1 power. Then we will simplify, bring down 413,343 equals 7 times r and then 6 minus 1 is 5. And then we will divide this both sides by 7 to get the value of r. So dividing that, 7 divided by 7 will be cancelled out and then 413,343 divided by 7 is equal to 59,049 and that will be equal to r to the p power and then we will multiply these both sides by its reciprocal and then we will multiply these both sides to the reciprocal of p power which, which is fifth root so multiplying that fifth root times 59,049 will be fifth root of 59,049 and then fifth root times r to the fifth power is equal to r. So r is equal to fifth root of 59,049. And then we will get the fifth root of 59,049. So r will be equal to 9. And then after we get the value of the common ratio, we will solve for the geometric means. So to solve for the value of the second term, we will multiply the first term times the common ratio. So we have the first term is equal to 7, and then we will multiply it by 9. So 7 times 9 will be equal to 63. So the second term is equal to 63. And then after that, to get the value of the third term, we will multiply the value of the second term times the common ratio. So we have 63 times 9, which is equal to 567. So that will be the value of the third term. And then to get the value of the fourth term, again, multiply the value of the third term times the common ratio. So we have 567 times 9, that is equal to 5103. 
and to get the value of the fifth term we will multiply the value of the fourth term which is 5103 times the value of the common ratio so we have 5103 times 9 is equal to 45,927. So that is the value of the fifth term. So the four geometric means between 7 and 413,343 is 63, 567, 5,103, and 45,927. So let's have our second example. Insert five geometric means between 4,374 and 6. So we will write 4,374 and 6. And between those numbers, we will insert five blanks. And then after that, we will identify the given. So the value of the first term is equal to 4,374. The value of the last term is equal to 6. And then the value of n is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So we have 7 terms. And we will find for the value of the common ratio. And then we will use the formula of the geometric sequence. a sub n is equal to a sub 1 times r raised to n minus 1 power. We will substitute. So we have a sub n is equal to 6 equals the value of the first term is equal to 4374 times the common ratio raised to 7 minus 1. And then bring down 6 equals 4374 times r. And then 7 minus 1 is equal to 6. And then we will divide this both sides by 4,374. So 4,374 divided by 4,374 will be cancelled out. So it will be r to the 6th power equals 6 divided by 4,374 is equal to 1 over 729. And then after that, we will multiply it by the reciprocal of 6 power, which is 6 root. So 6 root times r to the 6 power will be cancelled out. So this will be equal to r. And then 6 root times 1 over 729 is 6 root of 1 over 729. And we will simplify. So 6 root of 1 is 1. And then 6 root of 729 is 3. So R will be equal to positive negative 1 third. And then after that, we will solve for the value of the geometric means. So let's have first if the value of R is equal to 1 third. So we will multiply the value of the first term which is equal to 4374 times the common ratio which is 1 third. So 4,374 times 1 third is equal to 1,458. So that will be the value of the second term. And then to get the value of the third term, we will multiply the value of the second term times the value of the common ratio, which is equal to 1 third. So 1,458 divided by 1 third is equal to 486. So the value of the third term is equal to 486 and to get the value of the fourth term we will multiply the value of the third term times the common ratio so 486 times one third will be equal to 162 so that will be the value of the fourth term and to get the value of the fifth term we will multiply the fourth term times the common ratio so multiplying that so we have 162 times one third is equal to 54 and that will be the value of the fifth term and to get the value of the sixth term we will multiply the value of the fifth term times the common ratio so we have 54 times one third and that is equal to 18 and that will be the value of the sixth term so the five geometric means between 4374 and 6 is equal to 1458, 
486, 162, 54, and 18. So since the index is an even number, we have two possible roots. So the first one is one third, the one we have compute earlier, and the next one is negative one third. So let's compute for the second root. So let us compute for the second root. So if r is equal to one third, so let us find the value of the geometric means. So finding the value of a sub two, so we have to multiply the value of the first term which is equal to 4374 times the value of r is equal to negative one third so 4374 times negative one third is negative 1458 and then that will be the value of the second term to get the value of the third term we will multiply the value of the second term times the value of the common ratio, which is equal to negative 1,458 times negative one-third is equal to 486. So that will be the value of the third term. And to get the value of the fourth term, we will multiply the value of the third term times the value of the common ratio. So 486 times negative one-third is equal to negative 162 and that will be the value of the fourth term and to get the value of the fifth term we will multiply the value of the fourth term times the common ratio so negative 162 times negative one-third is equal to positive 54 and that will be the value of the fifth term and to get the value of the sixth term we will multiply the value of the fifth term times the value of the common ratio. So 54 times negative one third is equal to negative 18. So that will be the value of the sixth term. So the five geometric means between 4,374 and six is negative 1,458, 486, negative 162, 54 and negative 18.